Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Now it's one thing, you know, my hater will be like, look, she, she didn't lose her voice. I went back. And he goes back like three to four videos. Okay. <laughs> Looks like somebody's not happy with me. You keep bringing your dumb motherfucking ass over here, random no news. Whoa, it looks like we're about to get a double dose of the Goofy tonight. Because D-Fraud is a big man. And you're about to find out all about it. In episode 14, Queen Star, The Witches of Fraud Street. Now since our last video on the dynamic duo of dummies, they weren't too happy with your boy. And they had some pretty fucked up shit to say about your boy. And that shit was absolutely hilarious. So spark up if we watch these two goofies make a fool out of themselves while at the same time exposing themselves for the scammers that they really are. So let's start off with your girl Candace Starr. I want to talk to you guys real quick. Excuse her. What she meant to say, she wants to lie to you real quick. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you're going to see the truth in a moment. More like she's about to twist the truth and try to lie away out of embarrassment. Um, but I really, before we get into this little message here, right, <laughs> I want to go back to the beginning. My very, very first video of Kanika Jenkins was only because I heard a mother crying for help. More like she saw an opportunity, which you'll soon see as the video progresses. Now, I didn't know this mother. I didn't know this victim or non-victim. Okay. And that right there goes to show you she's a fucking liar. She been on here for five years telling you that Kanika told her that she was a victim. Now she doesn't know if she was a victim or a non-victim. What a clown. So I looked at a video and immediately I noticed there was digital edits. See, before she started the whole psychic grift, she was trying to make people believe they were filming a snuff film at the Crown Plaza with some fake edited videos. Check it out. He has a camera in his hand. They're video recording her murder. They're video recording her murder. That is an arm and a body. Now she's clearly right here telling you Kanika was the victim. But now that Mama T called her out, now she started the video off like. I didn't know this victim or non-victim. <laughs> Fucking fraud. He's videotaping this. And if you go watch a video that doesn't look like she smeared Vaseline all over the screen, you'll see nobody taping anything. This girl's a fucking idiot. Also, I almost see two legs. I see her blue jeans and I see black. And I see a goofy, because that shit was debunked a long time ago. Now, before we get into this, I want to show you something that was never there before that is now there, okay? Grab your popcorn. It's conspiracy time. <laughs> this is Teresa Martin's page. What do you see there? Now this shit's really gonna come back to bite her in the ass. But watch how she tries to spin this one. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's get into this little letter here, right? 2017, this person inboxed my daughter, family, and me. Let's just pause right there. Yes, I did. I contacted your lawyer. I contacted you. I contacted your daughter. Your lawyer got back to me and said, thank you for the information. On behalf of the family, thank you. And if you're expecting her to show you that lawyer saying any of that, don't hold your fucking breath. Okay. Your, your first lawyer, right? Your daughter, we spoke. You and I did not. Remember, she just said that. And me over and over begging for us to accept the baby doll she made of my child, Kanika. Pause. I thought you said you was a Christian, Miss Teresa. I thought Christians weren't supposed to lie. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm going to show you the proof that this is a lie. More like she's about to lie herself into a trap she can't get out of. I'm begging, please, please, please accept the doll I made, right? That bitch got a voice like that and she wants you to believe she can sing. <laughs> How could you love my child but hates me? Because your child is not you. And you think she would leave other people's children alone since she wouldn't want anybody talking about hers. Look, 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 Kanika. 
was a sheep surrounded by wolves that you knew about. And since she hasn't met one person that's connected to this case in real life, your girl is just talking out her ass again. You are part of the wolves. But God, well, I learned that anything after but is bullshit. Okay. So when you see one of Candace's supporters jump in my comment section saying, but Candace Starr has solved the case before, just know that it's bullshit. <laughs> this is the conversation. Okay, you can stop and read. But not one time did I beg her to accept the doll. But in fact, if any begging was happening, it was begging for more than one doll. Which you'll soon see that she's twisting that shit around completely. I have been on this case since September. I found proof your sister was kidnapped. I sent your mother the link. It's probably in her other's message box. Please, this is not a joke. Your lawyer needs this ASAP, love. You babe. So she instantly jumped into Lenore's inbox with the crazy bullshit. Then told somebody she never met before that she loves him. What a weirdo. Um, where's the proof? Thanks. I'll send it to you. She was pulled into the men's bathroom. Watch her left leg completely flips. My husband pulled my left arm to the right and my leg flipped too. Meaning that it, I reenacted it, right? This is the original video. I saw it in. Um, this is a reenactment of me um, having it done to me. And you know you're crazy when you're sending videos of yourself pretending to be snatched to strangers. <laughs> yeah, I added the special effects. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> Um, I would have never caught this if the frames weren't slowed down and, and filtered. You know, I would have never saw that. She was like, yes. Oh, and I did mention the doll here. Okay. Um, if you ever need a friend, baby doll, I'm here. Okay, wait, that's not it. Oh, I make lifelike dolls for a living and I wanted to make your mom one. And since Mama Teresa would never respond to her, she figured she'd go to Lenore to try to push the doll on her. One, right? Wanted to make, right? I didn't make it yet. Like Teresa claims that I made a doll and I'm trying to push this doll on her, right? She's definitely trying to push one of these shitty dolls on her. And you're about to see more of that as the video goes on. I feel so connected to you guys. It's not to you guys, it's to Kanika. So basically, she just lied to Lenore to gain her trust. Because she didn't feel connected to her, why would she say it? What a goofy. And I don't even know you to me. That's the Lord telling me. I know you were... You are still family in the Lord. And you see all that was bullshit since she just said she didn't feel connected to her at all. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. Now she's supposed to be using this to try to debunk Mama Teresa, but all she's doing is contradicting herself. I'm here if you ever need to vent. Oh, so I only said I wanted to make your mother a doll, but not sure if it's too soon. Notice she's not reading the part where she writes love y'all real big with a heart, right? Yes, she claims. I feel so connected to you guys. It's not to you guys, it's to Kanika. So why is she on here telling Lenore and Mom Petit that she loves them? Yes, please make me one too. Well, that's the only person I hear saying, please make me a doll, right? I'm not begging. So all Candace wants to focus on is the fact that Mama Teresa used the word beg as a figure of speech when describing the situation, while completely ignoring the fact that she's the one that came over here pushing the doll on people. Just to use the doll to get her foot in the door to try to get information out of Lenore. You'll see more in a minute. It's the fact that Miss Teresa is sitting there lying, teaming up with my haters because, <laughs> because somebody finally believes her side of the story. Please. When did me and Miss Teresa team up to do anything? She made a post and I shared it. Just because Miss Teresa sees you're a fraud doesn't mean that she's out here teaming up with YouTubers. More than welcome. I have a few videos proving things. I can send you them. I just want to help, but I don't want to be the crazy lady. Yeah, we're way beyond crazy at this point. And that's what she's trying to make it out of. She's begging me, trying to push a doll on me. Man, that sound almost makes your ears bleed, doesn't it? So who's really the liar here? We established it was Candace a long time ago, but don't worry, she's about to prove it to you soon enough. So the whole time, I only mentioned a doll once so far, okay? And I am concerned with justice for Kanika. Nope, she's more concerned with lying in her pockets. That's what she's been doing for the last five years. But there's nothing back about Kanika. Okay, fine, maybe it's too soon, right? Or maybe their personal family business was none of yours. I have a sleeping baby, might take me a while because I'm broke. Which is the exact reason why she would psych it. Because if it wasn't for Kanika dying and a bunch of gullible moron throwing money at her, she'd still be broke. <laughs> I do each hair individually with one little needle. 
this is one for you, but it won't be finished for a while. I'm gonna do a girl for your mom. Wait, I thought you was doing us both, Kanika. Well, since she came on here offering dolls of her sister, why would she want any other doll? What an idiot. Bills are tight, but every extra dollar I get, I will put into you, you guys' baby. I can't find the kit that looks like her. Okay. I have this one for your mom, but I didn't start it yet. And if she couldn't find a doll that looked like Kanika, then why would she offer to make a Kanika doll? What a clown. So nobody's trying to push a doll that I already made on them. In fact, I'm being basically <laughs> strong-armed into... Uh, Making two of them. How's she being strong armed when nobody asked her to make the first one? She wants a girl. One or two. Whatever you can. Well, that was nice of you. And clearly by that statement, Lenore's not strong arming her for anything. I wanted to know if I could ask you a personal question about your sister. Was her hair new? Because, um, new. Did she get her hair? Because I believe... I found a fight scene in the room and I hear her say, stop it, yo, get off my new hair. I also would like to know if you can identify her voice. This way I'm not spreading misinformation. Yeah, send it. I send it. And once Lenore saw that amount of crazy, she pretty much started ignoring Candace all together. Sorry it took so long. Um, here's the video. Please tell me if that's your sister's voice. She never answers me. She never once answers me about Kanika. Who would a right mind would entertain any of this bullshit? And I only messaged her like once or twice just checking back. She never like pushed it. So, why? Lie. Lie. So even though Lenore started ignoring her, she kept contacting her anyway. So who's lying here? Us to accept the baby doll that she made of my child, Kanika. No, I never made it. And she never planned on making it in the first place since she didn't have the money to do it. So if you could lie like this on the internet, what else are you lying about? Oh my. Yeah, we should be asking her the same question because I said that when I saw her say this dumb shit. Right here, it looks like Monifa is on top of Kanika, sh like straddling her. But look at above Kanika's face and where Monifa's hands are. It looks like a fucking plastic bag, excuse my French. It looks like a plastic bag being put over her face. But now that our Kanika grift is being fully exposed, now she's calling Kanika a non-victim. Okay. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't have no receipts? I got you. And you know you done gone full goofy when you're getting your info from a certified pedophile like Zillionaire. <laughs> Thank y'all. I think y'all for y'all friends, but my fucking baby is dead. I've never once used the curse word and my baby in the same sentence. I'm pretty sure if you just found out your daughter died, you're gonna react whatever way you fucking feel like reacting. This woman's an idiot. And for the book, for the record, no. Didn't nobody do nothing to her, y'all. Didn't nobody do nothing to her. Ain't no, ain't, ain't nobody do nothing to her. She was left at the party, but didn't nobody set up or nothing. She was found in a, at this hotel, right? She almost said hospital. Okay. So nobody did nothing to your daughter. Nobody touched her. Nobody set her up, right? Nobody. And you know, Candace or the rest of these goofies can't let that truth be told because then they couldn't make any money off this girl's death. But justice for Kanika. Justice for Kanika. What does she need justice for if nobody did nothing to her? Well, since the hotel was negligent and Kanika shouldn't have been able to walk in there in the first place, then you would want them to be held liable. So yeah, you would want justice. And then you go and team up, right? I got this little hater, right? A little, a little flea on the, on the foot, right? And now look, I'm not denying the fact that your girl Candace might have fleas. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> he sits there and disrespects your daughter by taking her image and putting it on old doll hair that's on my floor in my workroom and makes jokes about her, her, her being dead. There your girl go trying to play spin doctor again. The video she's referring to is Candace Starr talks to herself, where I completely clown Candace Starr. Nowhere in that video at all am I clowning Kanika. And it's funny that she tells you that she saw that video, since she tells all her subscribers. I don't even watch the hate videos. So Candace, could you please tell me? What else are you lying about? Oh my. <laughs> that money? Mm-hmm. You know all those cash apps you got? Yeah, that money? It helped you, didn't it? Yeah. This woman has no proof at all about Miss Martin's finances. 
But what you don't see Miss Martin doing is making people pay her electric bill. I want to thank all the babes that ended up sending me money. Literally within 10 minutes, you, you guys took care of everything. Now, we ain't got lights yet because hubby's working, so he, on his break, should be right now, is going over there to pay the bill. And now I got a question for Candace. You know all those cash apps you got? Yeah, that money? You helped it, didn't it? You looking at the face of a whole goofy. That nice new truck Kanika was talking about in the in the EVPs. I didn't know. She did. Yeah, too bad the so-called spirit she claims to talk to you never told her that shit. She got that shit straight from the mouth of a crackhead. Just 33 King posted this video. It's an exclusive interview. More like a total shit show. The, these people he's giving an interview is from the west side of Chicago and the south side of Chicago. Yeah, you can find them hanging out down in the crack district. <laughs> She had a, a hoopty and now she got a, a, a nice, nice um, SUV. And here it is from the crackhead. I mean, the spirit's mouth itself. <laughs> Her mom got a brand new car and she sold the bitch for it. So since it's clear this so-called spirit didn't give her any type of information, and since she's clearly lying to all of her subscribers, I'm going to ask her the question once again. What else are you lying about? Oh my. <laughs> Talking about... If I was really talking to Kanika, she would have told me that you would have beat my ass. Oh, Christian, wow. I don't care what religion you are. If you go around telling people that somebody's dead relative told you to go write a book, it's better to get your ass beat. <laughs> you would have beat my ass because I don't believe that she accidentally went into there by mistake. I'm pretty sure she wants to beat your ass for claiming you put the spirit of her daughter inside of the tarot cards you're selling to your subs. I touched each card. I programmed it. Only Vinny and Kanika can be spirit guides. What a fucking card artist. My whole thing is, look at the big picture, audience. How many lies did we catch her in? And just a little tiny statement. Which is the same question I have for all of her subscribers when it comes to this video and everything she said in it. Now, it's one thing, you know, my hater will be like, look, she... She didn't lose her voice. I went back. And he goes back like three to four videos. Okay. Oh, so I got the spirit must have told her about that video since she told everybody. I don't even watch the hate videos. <laughs> but to quickly debunk her, let's recap. They're like, oh, I don't believe that she couldn't speak for eight months. All you do is got to go to my videos. I was literally speaking like this in all of my videos because I had no voice. Go to her channel. Go back eight months, watch her videos, and you'll find videos like this, where she speaks perfectly fine. Like two or three videos, I'm not sure how many yet, but I did one already, this is our second video. I mean, it's really not hard to show how much of a fraud she is. You can go to her channel and check it out for yourself, but I'll show you a couple right now. Check it out. Dr. Phil show. So, yeah, this is getting... Sounds perfectly fine right there. Hello, 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 good morning. So today, not looking too good for Candace right now. Look who we become. <laughs> what the fuck was that? There she is doing that thing that she likes to call singing. <laughs> hey babes, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. So this question is for all the Candace and subs to let you jump in my comment section. Since you see that she's talking like that, when exactly was Literally she? Literally speaking like this in all of my videos because I had no voice. So could you guys kindly ask Candace Starr? What else are you lying about? Oh my. Listen, everything's documented. I'm not here to prove myself. Everything's already on the internet. I document it all. Okay? You can find it if you look for it. It's all there. And there she goes lying again. Because the video of her claiming to call the cops on me is nowhere to be seen on her page. I called the police. Because she was big mad. And she lied on me throughout the video. And the lies were so easy to debunk. She didn't want her fans to see that shit. My whole thing is, 2017, this person inboxed my daughter. Pause. That is the only truth in this entirety. She's hoping if she keeps telling herself that, it'll become true. <laughs> so instead of putting lawyers, she put family. Well, that's considered a lie because that's deception. Yeah, she still haven't showed you one ounce of proof that she contacted the family's lawyer at all. For us to accept the doll she made of Kanika, lie. How is that a lie when she just said? I wanted to make your mother a doll, but not sure if it's too soon. <laughs> because we never responded back. Lie. Well, that's not really a lie at all. She already admitted that Miss Teresa never responded back to her. Your daughter, we spoke. You and I did not. And once Lenore saw all Candace was doing was trying to use her for info, she stopped talking to her. 
she never answers me. She never once answers me about Kanika. How could you love my child? Oh, because see, I don't know Kanika in human form. I know Kanika's soul, her spirit. So well, in fact, that on a regular basis, she travels to the afterlife to give her a blanket. Cole, I know Kanika, baby. You didn't get the blankets I gave you last night? And trust me, if this goofy bitch is gonna come on here and lie about something like that, then... What else are you lying about? Oh my. And I'm not the only one that has this on the internet, okay? Zillionaire, got it. Well, uh, Moni Stacks, I found a video right before uh, Zillionaires. There are so many people think that you're actually involved with this. Looks like those two are getting the video now, and they can thank Candace for pointing me their way. <laughs> No, I never really truly felt you were involved. I think that you made a mental decision and I believe that manifestations come true. What does she mean she never thought she had anything to do with it? She just told you all that the Crown Plaza and Bill Murray conspired to kill Kanika and pay Teresa Martin off. Got paid from the hotel, like under the table, to, to keep it hush. Um, and she's showing me when she was saying nothing happened to my daughter. Remember that? That's because she got some money. She's saying that also um, Bill Murray himself has donated money to her. And since she's telling you that Kanika told all this bullshit, and now she's saying that she don't believe that Miss Martin had anything to do with it, now you know she's a complete fucking scammer. But then I saw that. You're gonna love this shit. <laughs> and now I'm wondering, wait, what? Now you a digital creator. Get out of here. So you can make people walk in halls? If they ain't really there, it's just a question. <laughs> she thought this was gonna be her smoking gun. Well, let me get this dumbass the answer that she's looking for. You see, all she did was prove that she, once again, knows nothing about reading comprehension. Because a digital creator is just somebody who creates digital media across a bunch of different platforms. And since Teresa Martin just started her YouTube channel, she put digital creator on her Facebook page. But then you got a dumbass like Candace Starr jumping online saying stupid shit like, So you can make people walk in halls? If they ain't really there, it's just a question. And the answer to that is no, she can't. Because she's not a BFX artist. Which is what Candace is trying to describe here. And that's what I do. And yes, I can make people just appear out of nowhere and walk through halls. As you can see, it's not blurry or anything. It's perfectly clear. Thing is, just like Candace's psychic powers, it's not real. It's fake. You guys have a choice to cross over. If only those ghosts were real, Candace would be getting the same choice. <laughs> or is this a lie? Oh, that might be a lie. Stop playing with me. Trust me, with the way this bitch scams, we're going to be messing with her for a long time. <laughs> but for now, we got to go get with the queen. Now, before we get to the video where I make the queen fully expose herself for being a fraud, I first got to show you this video because it's a setup. Because she said some crazy shit that's going to be really important to the end of the video. So check it out. You may not know now why you want to have a sponsorship program through us, but you will soon. I have a network coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Goof Time Network. And if you buy into this grift, then you'll be perfect for it. <laughs> that's not just talk. Like, it's almost complete. Yeah, complete bullshit. <laughs> The packages that we offer now, shit, you, we may not be offering it when it comes to the network. I mean, this bitch really knows how to hustle her subscribers out of a dollar, doesn't she? <laughs> Our meetings today has been about um, the Melomart. So for those of you who know what Melomart is, it is the one-stop shop for Melanites. <laughs> this bitch really just said Melomart, the one-stop shop for gullible dumbasses. <laughs> Everyone will not be chosen for Melomart. So... It is those that we feel like business is going to sell. Basically, anybody willing to throw money at her and not ask questions. <laughs> you know, because we're trying to make everybody some millionaires, bitch. How is she going to make you a millionaire when this bitch is still living out of hotel rooms? <laughs> For everybody who jumped off the train and called my name and said I was this and that, don't worry about it, bitch. You can never, ever jump back on this train. I mean that. And if you're wondering what train she's talking about, it's called the crazy train. And I don't think you want to be on that anyway. <laughs> I'm not a selfish person and we trying to make people millionaires or half millionaires or thousandaires or whatever it is that you visually want to become. We trying to help you to get to that. More like she trying to help herself to their money to get the fuck out of these hotels. <laughs> 
so I can be all the demons and devils that you wish me to be. What does she mean what we wanted her to be? She's the one that came on here and told everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm <laughs> More like bar from it. <laughs> but I bet by next January, bitch, I'll be a little bit more richer. And the dumbasses that follow her are gonna be a lot more poor. <laughs> and again, everybody won't be chosen for Melamart. You know what I mean? And then those who are chosen to sell off Melamart, you are expected to have a blog. You are expected to, to do drops, to promote, to market. So pretty much you do all the work and then you give her money to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> You cannot just think because you're under Quatita's name that you're going to sell some shit or people going to come to you. That ain't that. People trust me. They don't trust you. So she wants you to pay her to post your link on her non-existent website because people trust her and not you. <laughs> what a scam. <laughs> people have sent me emails and I have not gotten to them because... She's lazy. <laughs> I get overwhelmed and then I keep dealing with crazy people and then I just be like, fuck it because I don't know who all is crazy and who the, all the fuck is not. Says the lady that claims to transform into four to five different entities whenever she gets mad and wants to curse somebody. <laughs> like, don't make me cuss you out. You understand what I'm saying? Like her screaming at her phone gonna do anything other than make everybody laugh. <laughs> We're still trying to bring back black magic, but I haven't done anything with that. I haven't done anything with the sex line. Why? Because I'm scared, but I'm still paying for these things monthly so this bitch already failed at three different grifts now she wants you to sign up for two more okay <laughs> i have had to go and get one of the best attorneys and malika is malika's attorney she's an entertainment attorney i had to go and get her because of the shit that's happening and since this bitch is broke she probably gonna have to sell that Back for the purposes. to pay for this non-existent lawyer <laughs> about these text messages, emails, scammers, Sin City raps. Like, I, I have to do this now. <laughs> Looks like our girl Sin City got the queen big mad. Looks like your girl channeling Candace Star and taking the form of a Karen. I called the police. <laughs> I have to. So whatever, whatever video they think they gonna do today, please do it. I need money. <laughs> Told you this bitch was broke. Yeah, she's gonna get a lawyer. Get the fuck out of here. Cause I'm gonna sue you. Please do it. Sin City can't even get them videos down fast enough. I swear to God she can't. And now that bitch go lying again. Now she lying on God. You can run over to Sin City channel right now, subscribe on your way in, and check her catalog out. And you can see many videos that are still up of this crazy. People keep thinking I'm, I'm threatening them with an attorney. I am not. I am going to have a meeting with this lady. Because I have to now. People just thought it was me, thought you was gonna keep doing, you cannot. I am trademarked, I am a brand. No, she is delusional. You can keep defaming me, my name and my character, my brand if the fuck you want to. You don't have enough money. Well, we all know for a fact, she definitely doesn't. I need money. <laughs> I went to see another attorney previous to this, but he wasn't an entertainment attorney, so he was structurally, he was lost. He know what the fuck to do. So he just didn't talk to me again. So the ancestors and the spirits could tell this bitch everything except for where to find a good lawyer. <laughs> Whatever you made off my name on YouTube as being trademarked, I'm coming for it. I'm about to sue you for it. I hope you got it. I was asking her the same thing after this next clip. Because when you see this next video, she definitely gonna need a lawyer the way she goes around slandering people. But before we get to that, we got a video game sponsor today. So I'm gonna roll up another blunt. And I'll be right back. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Rated G for Goofy. Are you looking for a challenge? Then step up to the queen. You looking for me? Huh? Hey! What the fuck up? And get your ass out to GameStop and pick yourself up a copy of the newest game from Goof Kong. Queen Fighter. Yehuda Edition. Get ready for the most intense gameplay of your life. Grab your friends, reach for your controller, hit that start button, and then pick your Goofy. 12 different frauds for you to choose from. Rosema, wake up, Rosema. And get ready to do battle with the queen. Reveal. Round one, fight. I'm taking lives in real time. I don't care. These niggas gonna drop them. 
and I need money. Don't get scammed by the queen. In this game, you pick your hand and then you slap the shit out of it for me. Like, don't make me cuss you out. You understand what I'm saying? You use open or closed hands. Come on here, talk that shit. Let me help you jack your dick. Use multiple weapons. They may want you to tell them that you're gonna put your big toe in their ass. I mean, shit, anything goes. Like slingshots to the face. And I'ma fight it to the death. But watch out for the queen's voodoo. Pop up. Leg pop. You lose. Oh shit. Yo, hold up. Time, don't give up because there's always another chance. Y'all still think we playing a game? Cause I'm the fucking general. I'm the queen. Then use your ultimate weapon. I mean, off with his fucking head. More like off with hers. My fucking mind is blown. You win. And with how real this game is, your mind will be blown as well. How could you? He was just a boy. Believe your night. So run out and grab your copy of Queen Fighter today, or feel the wrath of Yehuda. Now what you're about to witness is a rare occurrence. See, in order to get these frauds to really expose themselves for who they really are, you gotta catch them all live, and I rarely get a chance to do that. Now when they're already upset, they'll say all types of shit just to save face in front of their audience. And the Queen's no different, and she exposed herself for being the complete lying fraud psychic that she really is and that our readings are really bullshit. Now you're gonna learn all about it right now. Check it out. Child, if you call me queen again, not only am I gonna cuss you, cause now I feel like you're doing it on purpose. This bitch has been on YouTube for like five years calling herself the queen. But can't nobody have from the queen. But now all of a sudden, it makes her upset when you call her that. So we're definitely gonna keep calling her the queen. <laughs> I'm gonna get real disrespectful, real indignant, Basically, she's just gonna be herself. <laughs> and if you still believe that queens mean something good, you should probably look at the etymology of it. I mean, shouldn't she have done that before she started calling herself Queen Domain? If you call me fucking queen again, I'm gonna cuss you out and block you. I mean, unless she's cloud chasing, then she doesn't mind who calls the queen at all. Queen, <laughs> that's what she can say. <laughs> and her daughter. Queen. Ty the Prince. Ty. <laughs> we gonna call her Ty. Ty. Yeah. How y'all doing today, Queens? We good. See what I mean? Somebody needs to tell this queen to chill out. My motherfucking name is Quatita. Call me that or get the fuck out of here. Are we understood? And once I saw her say that, you know damn well I jumped in the comments section and said, yes, queen. <laughs> you keep bringing your dumb motherfucking ass over here, random no news. You ain't got no beef here, cause who the fuck are you? I don't give a fuck. Oh, she gave a fuck, because your girl got big mad. So much, in fact, that she started making herself liable, cause she just started lying and making all types of shit up. Check it out. You a whole pedophile. Yeah, your girl just went zero to a hundred. And you would think she would want to know who I was before she made those type of accusations, but let's let her keep going. You a pedophile, cause you used to touch your little cousins. Yeah, you look at the face of a lying, fraud-ass goofy. And if you think that was bad, you should have heard what she said about the owners of YouTube when they blocked her channel. Robert, you've never filed a tax in your life. Never. You were accused of rape in college. And if you're wondering why she's talking like that, it's because she's possessed by Tetron right now. <laughs> Y'all killed the girl. Do you remember, Robert? Damn. Well, at least she didn't accuse me of murder. <laughs> And you dispose of her body like she wasn't shit. She's not shit to me. She's a genome. I don't care. And you would think since she hates white people so bad, she wouldn't be grifting with a girl Candace Starr all the time. You put your hands around her throat and then you snapped her back. What, you think that's crazy? Wait till you hear this. And then you fucked her corpse. And now you're looking at the face of a sick fuck. Because you gotta be fucked up even thinking this shit. You tortured your little sister for years. You burned cats. See what I mean? These people would say any lie they can to save face in front of their audience when you get them big mad. Let's go. And when the jacket comes off, you know your girl's about to go full goofy. <laughs> Cause you want some attention, I came on to read. Let's read then. And this is where she fell right into the trap. Because I knew she would do this. Because anytime somebody makes her mad, she claims she's gonna quote unquote, read them. Check it out. You go ahead. Don't tell your niggas. Go you ahead, tell me who. Now this is your boy Skull, and he got the queen big mad. 
and because of that, she tried to tell everybody he snitched on his friends. But watch how this backfires. What's their names? What's their names? Who? Who did I now notice she just keeps trying to get loud and she won't give names because she doesn't have any because she's a fraud. Who did I rat on? Tell me their name. Exactly, you a liar. Exactly. I've never had a chase with nobody else. All my chases alone, no type of spirits. <laughs> and now this bitch just got the bunked on live. See how easy it is to prove this bitch is a fraud? Goofy, goofy, yeah you look goofy. I ain't never had no chases with nobody else. Now you look like a goofy. Oh, trust me, she gonna show you just how goofy she is as the video goes on. <laughs> Came because you wanted to battle, let's fucking battle, bitch. I'm all day ready for it. Now, just like every other fraud, she had already blocked me after the first comment. So she just over here putting on a show. Are you calling my phone? Huh? Now, since I don't even know this woman, why would I be calling her phone? I think those... Percocet! Got your girl real paranoid. We ain't talked about the money you stole yet. Is that money money or is that chicks? And you would wonder why she's asking somebody she doesn't know questions about shit she's making up off the top of her head. <laughs> and is that your mama that used to write the bad chicks? Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that this bitch still thinks people use checks. <laughs> Cause that's news, real news, let's go. I'm bringing the real news. Who is that that used to write the checks? Is that you or your fucking mama? You know they used to steal the money. And you would think she would be able to tell you what money this was, right? And who this money was stolen from. Something to do with food stamps, too. Y'all was selling food stamps? Huh? <laughs> Her whole defense was throwing any accusation she could find on the wall and hoping something sticks. You wanted to rumble with the B, huh? And since she's now stealing somebody else's catchphrase that refers to themselves as the queen, is she the queen now? <laughs> I throw a hex on your whole family. She sure will, and she'll do it right from the comfort of the Motel 6. <laughs> Sometimes I miss shit in the comments. Am I missing it? Am I missing it? Hmm? What a fraud. She trying to make it look like I ran off because she blocked me to try to save face. Don't come back later when the live is over and talk that shit in the comments. Don't do it. I blow smoke your motherfucking way, bitch, and your tire explode on the fucking expressway. Well, wouldn't she have to know who I was or be in my general facility to do that? What a goofy. What you ought to go do is go sit the fuck down. Well, at the time, I was sitting down, rolling up a nice blunt, laughing my ass off at the fact that this bitch is mad as hell and she's trying to take up another lie. I'll call out to a motherfucker in the transformation that happened, bitch. She gonna call out to her drug dealer for some more of those. Percocet. So she can gather the goofies and transform into Yehuda. Oh, Yehuda! <laughs> you looking at a group of whole goofies. <laughs> Huh? That was you to call my phone? Huh? Why does she keep asking if I called her phone? If the bitch is psychic, the bitch should know if it's me ain't or not. Ain't nobody timed you out. I ain't timed you out. I had to come in under another account because her and her minions keep blocking me. I said, let's go. This you calling me? Who's calling me? Hello? Who is this? This is, uh, this is Keosha Johnson. I know you know me from your channel. It was an accident. I didn't mean to call you. Oh, okay. Her so-called powers couldn't tell her who was on the phone. Yes, she can read people. This bitch is a fraud. <laughs> who timed you out? I would have seen it. It would have said you was timed out. Who timed you out? I said you, wh wh what are we talking about? I said you tell me, because at this point, I'm trying to figure out who the fuck you're reading right now. <laughs> no, I'm reading you. I'm reading you. There's no fraud here. You didn't come here to prove shit. You think you can tell these people that I'm a fraud? <laughs> this bitch is big mad. You know, I'm not reading you. I, okay. Now, if you're wondering what was happening here, I was too, because I'm not pausing the camera. She's just sitting here looking like a dumbass, most likely thinking up another lie. You're a victim of abuse. Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. This fraud just likes to make stuff up. I'm not making up nothing because I don't have to. Yeah, we all know this goofy would never make anything up, right? They just made a movie about me. If I tell you that you're going to think I'm crazy, it's called The Woman King. Do you understand me? I'm watching this shit in real time and motherfuckers just think I'm making shit up. 
<laughs> and I bet you guys are all like, What else are you lying about? Oh my. You're fucking disgusting to me. And at this point, I told her if she was really psychic, tell me what my name is and prove what she's saying. Ain't that what they all say? No proof. I do have proof. You know what proof I have? Wait till you hear this shit. Come closer. Let me tell you what proof I have. Everything I say happens. Happens. Well, if that's the case, and anything she predicts comes true, then how are we watching this video? Because she just told us that before 2022 ended, she said that Yehuda was telling her that brace yourself, people. This world will be no more. Like this world is gonna be destroyed. <laughs> but let's hear the goofy say it. The world as you know it is coming to an end. There is no other. This is it. We're about to die. I keep saying this. So when you see this clown saying stupid shit like everything I say happens, happens. Just tell her to lay off of those. Percocet. And keep it moving. <laughs> you came here for my attention and I called you out. What the fuck is she talking about? If I'm the one that came over here calling her a fraud, how the fuck did she call me out? You a pervert. And now your girl on here just projecting. How is she calling me a pervert? She's the one on here saying, Let me help you jack your dick. Sex sales and a lot of people have feet fetishes. I mean, shit, anything goes. They may want you to tell them that you're going to put your big toe in their ass. Fucking be ready to come. No, don't, don't let them come. Make them hold that shit. Because as long as they hold that shit and want more and want more, the more that money motherfucking rack up. You want me to rub your balls with my feet? I don't care what it is. I don't. I don't. Um, bring these genomes on on here and let them um, get they whatever they fucking need from these melanite lips. So as you can see, your girl projecting because the only pervert on here is the one telling people four ninety nine per minute for you to stick your big toe in in they ass. <laughs> hey, how would you know that I said the Woman King was about me unless you a fucking fan? So I told her, no, I just watched the video and laugh at you like everybody else does. You made the video and I laugh like everyone else. You're a fan. Hell yeah, I'm a huge fan of watching Goofies come online and make fools out of themselves. And you're a victim. So sad for you. So I asked her to call on a deity to prove that I was a victim. And this is what she said. I don't need to prove it. You prove it. And just like all of our so-called predictions and psychic readings, she ain't gonna back shit she sat up with proof. Why? Because... I'm a fraud! She sure is. <laughs> the most expensive thing you have are your shoes. That's what you have. You're a pair of shoes. You're a pair of shoes. And let's give this Goofy an award for the world's laziest insult. <laughs> And the funniest part, one of her subscribers asked her to prove who I was. Watch what she says. I don't need to prove shit. And you didn't need to be psychic to know she wasn't going to prove anything. <laughs> and you thought that you could make your name. See, this YouTube you under is not your only one. Look at Captain Obvious, everybody. We already established I came back in under a different account. So why she saying it like she just figured something out? You can say all day long that I'm lying. These people know my reputation. They sure do. And a ton of people on this platform call her out all the time for being a fraud, a liar, and a scammer. Motherfucker felt like they had the right to come talking about some stop being wishy-washy. And, and yes, ma'am, I'm calling you the fuck out. My perception of her will never change. Never will change. This woman is mixed up, she fake, she, she, she not real. Workshop that we had did together, and she was supposed to give me money, give me my half of the money, and she was taking it an, an oddly amount of time because she says I stole money from her. It's a lie. It don't, you don't affect my sleep because you're nothing to me. Guess what? Because you're, because you're somebody I know. And as your girl proving that she has no psychic powers at all again, she never met me a day in her life. It's funny how every time I call these frauds out, they all say the same thing. So this video is by somebody 
that we go year we go two or three years back. I mean, I think I know this guy. I think we used to. I think we used to be cool. Then we fell out. Then see what I mean? You're looking at the face of two whole goofies. <laughs> you don't want me to hear your voice. <laughs> what is this goofy talking about? I'm literally a voice behind an avatar. And besides, why would she need to hear my voice in the first place if she already told you? Because you're somebody I know. And since she doesn't, who the fuck was she reading this whole time? <laughs> You are pathetic shoes. And you can tell by the sound of her voice that that's the sound of a broken fraud. <laughs> Let's hear it again. You are pathetic shoes. She gonna cry in the car. <laughs> no, I didn't pause the camera or nothing. Your girl just sitting here steaming because she big mad. You know you got these frauds broke when they do this shit. And she just thinking up a lot to tell. Your pathetic shoes. No, what's pathetic is a 44-year-old woman coming online doing shit like this. Thank you something, nigga. I'll pull up and blow your whole fucking head off. Man, she talking Where like she got game. I will pull up and blow this you head off. Me? You don't know who the fuck he did. <gasps> you don't think I'll kill everything in your family, bitch? And wait till you hear what she's about to say next. She about to go full goofy. Yes, bitch. You keep hollering, you got kids in the wife, I'll kill your kids, nigga. Now, for somebody that likes to run around screaming one band, one sound because she's so pro melanite, she sure doesn't have a problem with killing a melanite at the drop of a dime when they piss her off. The only thing I'm confused on, are, are you the stud? Or are you a nigga? Or, or do I feel like you a nigga because you a stud? And there she goes exposing herself for having no psychic powers again. How she claiming she reading me when she don't even know if I'm a man or a woman? This bitch is a goofy. Call my phone. Prove me wrong. I want you to. And at this point, I said, cool, drop your number, and I'll call you a fraud right to your face. And watch what she says. 513-328-006. But you know the number. You know it. You already know it, don't you? <laughs> Classic J for pay move. You see, whenever you call these frauds out on their bluff, they always pull that game. What's your address? What's your address, bitch? But when you ask them for the full address, this is what they do. 4228 what? 4228 what? Avenue, bitch. 4228 Kiss My Ass Avenue. See what I mean? All these frauds do that shit. Shout out to Tiff. Call my phone. You're definitely looking at the face of a broken fraud. Call it. So I told her to quit fronting and drop the number and I'll do that. But watch what she says. Do that and I'll call. Cole Brady. Cole Brady. You're one of my new minds. Block that nigga. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, this fraud had to get rid of your boy real quick. Because she knew if she dropped that number, she would have had to prove all that shit she said about me over the phone. And she knew she couldn't do it. I really wish the person would have called my phone. And I would have, I would have, I would have, I would have let loose. <laughs> Too bad she wouldn't let loose that phone number, right? 513-328-006. But you know the number. <laughs> finna go get the other page. Is she finna go get it? And now she's telling everybody I'm a female. I guess those Percocet. got your girl's powers all out of whack. <laughs> Spirit kept showing me the shoes. Then I saw some other stuff and I realized who it was. And it validated all the information that I had just given. And since the spirits are telling her that I'm a female, then that just validates that the spirits are just as full of shit as she is. <laughs> Motherfucker want me to call him by their name so bad. I nothing, you bitch. More like she just nothings herself because her jig is up because she just exposed herself for being a fraud. If you tell me I'm a fraud and I'm a scam and I say, call my phone, you ain't gonna call my phone? 513-328-006, but you know the number. Yeah, when that becomes an actual number, I'll call her phone. She must be on Goofy Mobile. <laughs> Hello, I'm Miss Cleo. Call now. Uh-oh, now your girl just transformed into another fraud. <laughs> you say what? Unblock so they can call. See, at this point, her subscribers see that she's frauding, and they want her to unblock me so I can call her. But watch what she says. Unblock who? Unblock who? Kirsten. Unblock who so they can call? Who's blocked? Cole Brady. 
You're one of my new minds. Block that nigga. <laughs> what a fraud. And I know her viewers are all like, What else are you lying about? Oh my. And at this point, once her subscribers started calling her out for being a fraud, she had to do something quick to save face. So she decided to put a spell on me. Check this shit out. That's a me, teriyaki song with the rice on the side, sweaty. Then how you gonna put a curse on me listening to drill music? <laughs> Bow for me. I got all this money on my motherfucking mind. Diamonds in my dime. Bow for me. And at this point, you would think since I'm 43. that she is way too old to be coming on here acting this goofy. Right. Buffendia. Right. Yeah, at this point, they should rise and come award this Goofy with her certification. Because at this point, she's definitely certified Goofy. And as far as that spell goes, don't worry about it. She done did that to everybody. Nothing ever happens. Hey, Queen, why you leave? I ain't dead shit. yet. I'm still waiting on the day. Right. Right. Nigga, didn't she, put a, right. didn't she put a spell on you, dude? She said she's sending the death angels that, that, that came with her Uncle Charles on Bone Thugs at the crossroads. We not even mad at you, Queen. We just want you to prove that you know something, goofy-ass bitch. She concluded the video last night by saying my real name, Sydney. I'm coming to see you tonight. I'm going to kill you. Oh, well, since I've said it, I'm going to have to kill you. Bitch, happy motherfucking Saturday to everybody. Happy birthday to my baby boy. We are still alive, doing just fine, bitch. I slept peacefully as fuck last night. And we'll continue to do so. Your power ain't working, Quatita. Now, as you see, this bitch is just a complete fraud. And nobody on here takes her seriously at all. Well, maybe the morons in the chat do. But anybody with basic common sense can see right through this fraud. Now, if you go to her channel and try to find that video, she took it down because she knows she exposed herself for being a fraud and she didn't want herself to see the shit. But what you will find when you go over there is a bunch of goofy scamming people out of money for fake tarot readings. But a funny thing happened. The next day, she posted a video. And if you look at the title of this video, it says clearly, for entertainment purposes only. Why? Because your girl's exposed as being a fraud and now she's trying to switch up because she knows that shit she was doing was fake. Oh, and as far as that curse this goofy claim she put on me, that shit must have backfired on her tenfold because she been having a bad week ever since she did that shit. Check this goofy shit out. I really could just, I really, really just want to scream and kick shit over and all kind of shit, bro. As you can see, your girl's in good spirits today. <laughs> People don't care how they show up, what kind of energy they bring you. See, our subscribers that actually caught that live stream know she's scamming now, and that money ain't coming in, and she ain't happy. Like, my phone been busy all day. Like, before I could even, <clears throat> me waking up this rising. Yeah, I'm sure she wakes up bright and early, like. I'm in the mood to scam, simply because I can. Like, I've been ill since last Wednesday, meaning I've been sick for over a week now. So you're telling me she can put spells on everybody else, but she can't make a spell to take her sickness away? <laughs> I go to the motherfucking post office, bro. I have multiple packages that were delivered while I was gone, and they're gone. Like, just gone. You would think she would have saw that coming, right? Since she's a psychic? <laughs> Cause I give them the tracking number. They looking at the tracking number off my phone. Like, bitch, write it the fuck down. And at this point, your girl needs to transform into somebody with some matters. <laughs> oh, like, bitch, you got my phone around the corner. Like, I can't even see you. Give me my fucking phone for I climb over this motherfucker and set it off in the post office, bitch. Like, cause that's where I'm at with it, bro. So basically, she was about to go postal. <laughs> then I get sick. Out of my fucking control. I bet the people around her are looking at her like, You big man. She sure is. <laughs> I keep asking for people that are on my list to reach out to me. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, because after they saw she ain't really got no powers, they ain't trying to get ripped off. Like, if you are on my fucking list, bro, reach out to me so I will know that you're on my list, please. And you can tell by her voice that she desperate to get those donations back. <laughs> Oh, this shit is about to be over. Like, for real. Taking a two-week hiatus? No, bitch. I'm about to be done. Period. Looks like your girl's gonna go back to her old job dancing at Club Yehuda. You went out me being a stripper? Yes, bitch, I was. Yeah, and here's a picture of her. Her stripper name was Tetron. <laughs> I'm 
tired of begging for fucking help and 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 like like forgiveness and listen i'm over it sounds like the people on that list are also over it because they're not donating no more <laughs> motherfuckers want to know where i live at why did you want to know where the fuck i was living at when i was living in my car why is it important to you right the fuck now and with her dropping that info on us, that answers this question. Why y'all keep wanna say the queen is broke? Because everybody knew she was broke from day one. She's the only one coming on here acting like she's some type of superstar. Cause I've lived in my fucking car. It didn't seem like it was that important to nobody. Yeah, this bitch is broke broke. And it sounds to me like... The most expensive thing you have are your shoes. Look like she was reading herself. Like about an hour ago, I'm at the post office. This nigga get in his car, just slam his fucking door into my car. I'm like, I got the car like, bro, you just fucking slam dinner? Yes, you did. <laughs> she is big mad. Looks like karma's a bitch right now. Everybody about to see a completely different motherfucking side to me. You know, like she showed you in the last episode. Did y'all see when I shapeshifted into Ray Charles? You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. I don't care. I will not be answering my phone. I will not be returning any text messages. Basically, if you pay for a reading in advance, count that shit as a loss. <laughs> I need to be done with it. I need to be done with it, bro. And with that, this raw has been officially broken. And if anybody still follows her, that means they just like to be lied to. And they deserve to be ripped off. But with that, that's why I'm going to end this episode. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And if you like the content, hit the cash app for your boy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. You talking to a queen like that? You, who you telling to shut the fuck up? You told her to shut the fuck up? Bitch. I'll tell you to shut up. I wish you would, bitch. I did. Shut up. I wish you would. Demon. I wish the fuck you would. Demon. Who me. you gonna come for? What you, you gonna do? What you gonna do, though? What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? You got everybody else scared, but you ain't got me 